Hello friends, this video on alcohol phenols and ethers part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So the objective of this lesson is to name alcohol phenols and ethers. So we'll be going for the naming convention of alcohol phenols and ethers based on IUPAC nomenclature and also the common names. We'll discuss the reactions involved in the preparation of again alcohol phenols and ethers. We'll discuss glycol and glycerol also when we talk about alcohols. We'll talk about the physical properties of again alcohols, phenols, and ethers, also with their structure. We'll discuss the chemical reactions involved in alcohol, phenols, and ethers. So if you see, basically in this chapter, we'll be discussing alcohol, phenols, and ethers. And what we'll be discussing about alcohols, phenols, and ethers is their IUPAC name, their preparations their physical properties and their chemical reactions. That will be the general format of the whole chapter. The first question before we even start alcohol phenols and ethers is what are alcohol phenols and ethers? You must have studied this in your past classes but just to reiterate the definitions of alcohol phenols and ethers. Alcohol, the moment alcohol comes into mind, the beverage, the alcohol you think of but in the chemical world, the definition of alcohol is you take any aliphatic hydrocarbon, you replace the hydrogen with OH. So you have this hydrogen, you replace with OH. And what you get is alcohol. For example, you have methane or ethane, let's suppose take ethane. This is my ethane with all hydrogens. Correct. Now, if I remove one hydrogen, and replace this hydrogen with OH, what you get is methyl alcohol, correct? So one hydrogen from this is replaced with OH, you get alcohol. So you take an aliphatic hydrocarbon, you replace H with OH, you get alcohol. So instead of aromatic hydrocarbon, if you take aromatic hydrocarbon and do the same thing, you replace hydrogen with OH, what you get is phenol. For example, you have this benzene and it has all H, different H it has, right? 6H. Now in this, if I replace any of this H with OH, right? This is my phenol. Okay, you take a benzene, you replace H with OH, you get phenol. The next is ether. So in this, you can take any hydrocarbon, aliphatic, aromatic, doesn't matter. You take any hydrocarbon, replace H with alkoxy or araloxy group. So what is alkoxy group? That is OR group. What is araloxy group? OAR group. So in that case, you get ether. For example, I have, let's suppose, methane. Now this methane, this hydrogen, I am replacing with O. C2H5, let's suppose. So this is a ether here. So instead of hydrogen, you have OC2H5. Or instead of hydrogen, even if you put O phenol. Right? So this is a araloxy group and this is an alkoxy group. So you replace H with either alkoxy or araloxy group, what you get is ether. And they have a good smell. In fact, characteristic smell there. Have a good smell. So these are my alcohols, phenols, and ethers. So alcohols, you take aliphatic hydrocarbon, you replace H with OH, you get alcohol. You have, take aromatic hydrocarbon, replace H with OH, you get phenol. You take any hydrocarbon, replace H with OR or OAR, that is alkoxy or araloxy group, you get ethers. So this is how typically the structure of alcohol, 109 degree, we'll discuss this. This is my phenol, this is how phenol looks like. And this is a typical structure of ether. Before we move into this chapter in detail, let's study why should we study this chapter? Why should we study alcohol, phenols and ether? What difference alcohol, phenols and ethers is making to our life? The first and the foremost important use of alcohol, phenols and ethers or most of the hydrocarbon is as a solvent. So these are used as solvent for many chemical reactions. The wood furniture, if you see the shine, right? The, the glaze, the shine which you see in the polished wood furniture is because of spirit. And this spirit is nothing but my 
alcohol phenols and ether. So here if you see the sugar is also nothing but these compound. The cotton which we use right to wear that is also nothing but one of the alcohol phenols and ethers. So it is also used to make papers, the papers which we use to write. The beverage drinks, the moment you think of alcohol, you think of drinks, right? So that is also my alcohols. It is used widely in cosmetics. To prepare cosmetics, alcohols, phenols and ethers are used. It is used as a preservative for fruits. For fruits, we use this for preservative because what happens is the fruits generally are uh, when you, you cultivate the fruits some distance location in some village right so there is a huge time gap when the fruits are plucked and when the fruits are consumed it has to be preserved so it is used for preservative medicines it is used a lot and especially for cough syrup it is used it is also used to make bomb. It is also used to make bombs. If you see, it is used to make bombs and explosive. It is used for antifreeze in car. So, in uh, cold country, if you are staying in cold country, very very cold country, it's very, very difficult to start the car in the morning. So, this is used for antifreeze in the car. Not in countries like India where the temperature is not that cold but if you go to any very very cold country these are used if you see the clove and the eucalyptus oil which they have a good smell and that is nothing but because of ether so they have ethers in it so eucalyptus oil cloves they have ethers so these are the various applications of alcohols phenols and ethers right so in some case you use alcohols phenols and ethers in our day-to-day -day life whether you talk about the polishing of the furniture the wooden fabric the cosmetics which is used by ladies antifreeze in the car the medicines the bombs uh, and the solvent the preservative the beverages here we have a very huge application of alcohols phenols and ether. so with this concepts in mind with this data in mind that the alcohols phenols and ethers are widely used let's start the chapter so we'll start with alcohols so alcohols they have one or more OH group so it can have one OH group or more OH group also that is directly attached to carbon please note OH group is always attached to carbon correct this kind of structure OH group always attached to carbon so OH group attached to in the aliphatic system it has to be aliphatic if it is aromatic then it is phenol correct and OH bond is polar in nature why because O is electronegative right is more electronegative than carbon if you see carbon oxygen hydrogen this oxygen is more electronegative than carbon it will try to pull electron towards itself it will get slightly negative charge since it gets slightly negative charge, it gets slightly positive charge. And with that, we say that alcohol is slightly acidic, but it is even less acidic than water. It is slightly acidic, but even less acidic than water. And it is very less acidic. So in most of the case, we ignore the acidity of alcohol. But it has slight positive charge because why oxygen is more electronegative than carbon. We have studied the electronegativity series in the previous chapters where we have discussed that oxygen is more electronegative than carbon so with that it develops slightly negative charge and thus this has slightly positive charge so it is slightly slightly very very less acidic but it is even less acidic than, than water and alcohols you can classify alcohol as mono di tri or polyhydric compounds depending on whether they have one two or three hydroxyl groups in their structures we'll see that we'll see this uh, different uh, poly tri or mono uh, hydric compounds in the next slide thus understand this is how alcohol looks this is the bond angle this is almost 109 degree we'll, we'll discuss the structure of alcohols and we'll discuss why we have uh, this angle 
and that's mainly because of the lone pairs here. We'll discuss that. And uh, this is the structure actually of all gods. You can see there are three different views. This is the 3D view. This is the Lewis structure. This is also Lewis structure. Uh, So as I told, we'll discuss mono, di, tri, and polyhydric alcohols. So here, so it has one OH group, if you see, so it is a mono. This has two OH group, it is a di. It has three OH group, it's a tri. Correct, easy only. Just find the number of OH group, it is one, it is mono, two, it is di, it is three, it is tri. Let's understand a little bit about phenols also. Phenols are solid generally. Alcohols, if you see, was liquid. Phenols are generally solid. So phenols, they have OH group attached to aromatic system. Please note, it has to be aromatic system. And where you have OH attached. For example, in this case, there is a benzene, you replace H with OH, you get phenol. These are my phenols, right? This is my aromatic system. And in this aromatic system, directly we have OH attached. This is my O and this is my H. Correct. So you have, you have an aromatic system. In the aromatic system, directly you attach OH. Understand one thing. This is not a phenol. For example, uh, uh, for example, this is not a phenol. Why? Because if you see, this carbon is not part of aromatic system. OH is attached to this carbon. Only if OH is attached to the aromatic system, it is phenol. Hope you understand. This is a normal alcohol. Again, phenol is also a type of alcohol because generally there are so many definitions. Some definitions say that alcohol has to be aliphatic. Some says alcohol has to be aliphatic. And phenol is aromatic. There are different definitions actually. This is what one one people, uh, group of people says. The two group of people say that phenol is a subtype of alcohol. And it is more acidic than alcohol. So we will see that. So we see that the phenol is more acidic than water and it is more acidic than alcohol. This is the thing. We, and we will also explain you why it is more acidic than alcohol we'll discuss these things in details right same thing here also phenols can be classified as mono and di and tri or poly polyhydric compound depending on whether it has one two or three hydroxyl group in their structure for example this is a mono this is it has two oh it is di this has one oh this is mono and this has three oh it is tri right this is mono one die and try. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.